Detroiters everywhere are showing they're all in for the Lions by proudly wearing their Honolulu blue. It was especially hard to miss at road games this year when the Lions colors took over stadiums all over the country. But where did that color come from? Devin, you've been working and looking into this. I have. It may seem odd that a northern team like the Lions would adopt a trop tropical color. Actually, this time of year, maybe it makes perfect sense. How did Honolulu Blue become the Lions' official hue? Well, like most things in Detroit's lengthy sports history, there's a story behind that. Well, Bill, fitting here at the Detroit Historical Museum mm -hmm. that we would see a lot of Lions paraphernalia. Yeah. It's a huge part of the city's history. It really is, and and in the middle of a historical season, too. Bill Keenis works now for the NFL, but he was the Lions' longtime vice president for communications and is still pretty much the team historian. And he takes me back to the beginning, 1934. The Detroit Lions actually got their start as the Portsmouth Spartans. That's Portsmouth, Ohio, about halfway between Cincinnati and Charleston, West Virginia. A radio executive, G.A. Richards, who uh, ran WJR, which was an NBC affiliate at the time, um, wanted to bring pro football to Detroit and uh, purchased the team. Detroit already had the Tigers, and in keeping with the city's big cat theme, the team's new owners called the new squad the Lions. That old yellow lion, yeah. that's the original logo yeah, yeah. for 1934? Yeah, and it's, it's made such a renaissance in the last few seasons. People, sports fans in particular, and I think Detroiters specifically are so nostalgic. True, and yet while we often talk about the Red Wings being an original six team, we don't talk as much about the Lions being one of the NFL's original eight. Absolutely, the Lions. Uh, are considered among that group that really built the foundation for pro football. The Spartans' colors were purple and gold. That wouldn't do. I mean, those were Minnesota Vikings' colors, even though they wouldn't come along until 27 years later. So Richards was trying to pick a color. Honolulu blue was in the mix because, the story goes, Richards had taken a trip to Hawaii, still 25 years from becoming a state, by the way, and wanted a shade of blue to match the waters of the Pacific. Mr. Richards uh, obviously wanting to create an, an identity unique to the Lions, came up with some color schemes. And one of the great players of that era, era Glenn Presnell, was in his office innocently one day. And uh, Mr. Richards had the, the color swaths on his table and invited Glenn and his wife in, I believe. And they, uh, they loved Honolulu Blue. And that's how it started. And so it's been Honolulu blue and silver pretty much all that time. There were actually two years of red and white, but that's because they hired a coach away from the Indiana Hoosiers, and he brought the colors with him. Uh, fortunately, that didn't last, and good riddance. Keenest loves all of this, the stories, the players, the history, and that's why it meant so much for him to be there at Ford Field to see a different kind of Lions history. What overwhelmed me, not, not surprised me, was the sheer unadulterated joy, emotion, love, and that's not stretching it, of the fans. And I'm getting goosebumps right now because that is the beauty of sport and what it does to a community, especially like Detroit. He's so right. You know, it's interesting to note, when the Buffalo Bills first joined the old AFL in 1960, they basically copied the Lions' look, blue uniforms and silver helmets. Of course, remember, the owner of the Bills was gross pointer Ralph Wilson, who at the time was part owner oh, of the Detroit that. Lions. They ended up switching to red, white, and blue Man. later. Isn't I that love wild? this history. And it was it's, so cool you were able to find those old pictures of everyone and weave it all together. Now, apparently, Bill tells me that if you go to Portsmouth, Ohio, there is still such a huge fondness there. If you go to their, muse their, their historical museum there, there's all kinds of Spartan stuff there, but they are all massive Lions fans because of that lineage. I love that. Back to it. But of course, the whole country right now is Lions fans, right? Yeah, they really are. Yeah, yeah. Cool story. Thanks, yeah. Devin. Appreciate it. You bet. It. Thanks, Devin.